Hey guys, long time no see. Sorry I have been so MIA. School is kind of kicking my butt right now, but I'm writing my last midterm today. I'm just like on my way out. I'm just getting ready right now. And I thought I'd just film a really quick little video for you guys just to say hello and kind of tell you what's been going on. I'm gonna be doing a first impression on this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Sorry for my voice. I've got a cough right now. I get it every couple months and it's just kind of ridiculous. I think it's from the dryness in the air, but nothing I can do about it. It's here to stay, I feel, for a while. So I promise that after today, I will be back to more regular filming. So make sure to give me any video ideas or requests in the comments down below so I can get a feel for what you're wanting to see from me. Just in case I don't get a video up before Friday, I just wanted to say Happy Halloween to everybody and I hope that everyone has such an amazing time. Yeah, so that's about it. Let's get into this first impressions. I did run out of my Lancome Hypno Star Mascara, but I think from now on I'm just gonna be trying new mascaras every time I run out of one. Just try a new formula and see how I like it. And I've heard a lot about the Tarte mascaras. I'm kind of regretting picking up this one and not the new Gifted mascara, just because a lot of people have been talking about that. But that might be the one to try for the next time. So for now, let's get into the first impressions on this mascara. All right, so I'm zooming in right up and closer right here, and we're going to take the mascara. P.S. If you're wanting to know what makeup I have on my face, it will be listed in the description box below. So this is the wand here. Ooh, be careful not to touch my face. Uh, yeah. It's like that. The bristles are a little bit shorter, so I feel like it'll be a lot easier to get into the lashes, which is nice. And hopefully it's going to be nice and volumizing. So let's try it out. Okay, so immediately I'm seeing that a lot of product is being packed onto the lashes, which is super nice because I like my lashes to be really full. And no clumps so far. Okay, so this is the first coat of mascara on. I am gonna go in and do a second coat just because I feel like it's very important to pack on a lot of mascara to get the definition that you want. And as I'm doing this second coat here, it's not clumping up at all, which is very nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it like this. I will say it's not as volumizing as my Lancome Hypno Star, but this one is very, very beautiful. It definitely coated all the length of my lashes and it didn't clump any together. They're all very separated and it gives the eye a really full effect, which I love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I will check back with you. Okay, so I did go back and do a third coat on this eye and obviously the same on the other eye and I am loving this mascara. It's just like... I don't know, it's just kind of a perfect, easy mascara. Like, there were no clumps, no yucky guckying together of the eyelashes. They're all very separated, it's very voluminous, and it just, I love the look of this mascara. So what I'm gonna do, just so I don't lead you astray, just in case it doesn't turn out to be good, I am going to go write my midterm. I think it'll be like, five or six hours from now that I will be done and at home so that I can give you kind of my final verdict and see if it transferred at all, see how it wears throughout the day and so the next clip will be me a few hours from now so I will see you then. Okay so it is now 3.30 and it has been six hours exactly since I applied this mascara because I filmed the little clip this morning at 9.30 and looking at my eyes it's still quite voluminous not as much as it was earlier. It did flake off a little bit. I was kind of wiping under my eyes throughout the day and I've got a little black hue underneath my eyes so if any of you know a freaking mascara that does not run or flake or transfer onto your face because that is the most annoying thing when you you know think you're looking fly and you've just done your makeup and you're wandering around in the human world and then it's like oh great I've got black all over my face from my mascara so annoying oh so if you know anything that doesn't do that, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. I like it. I am not in love with it. I have to play with it a bit more. Maybe I'll let you guys know in a few days time when I do my October favorites. I'm not totally disappointed with it, but it did flake and I don't like it when mascara flakes. So if there's mascara that doesn't flake, I would prefer that. If not, then I do really love the look that this mascara has given. The packaging is really cute and comfy. It's like cushiony, like a almost a... It's like a mix between a fabric and a plastic cover. It's really nice. I may do a follow-up blog post on this. Keep an eye out for that. Once it's up, I will link it down below. And because I haven't made a video in so long, when I did come home just now, there was a package on my doorstep, so I figured I would just quickly show you guys what I picked up at Forever 21, because I haven't filmed a video in so long, and we might as well just make this a big smorgasbord of things. First thing I see in here is a necklace I bought. 
let us see. This is the necklace. It is a long chained necklace because I want some more dangly accessories and the pendant looks like this. It's a little triangle with a black triangle in the middle and some little danglies. Super pretty. How much was this thing? It was $9. $9.80 $9 for this necklace. Super, super cute. I love how cheap Forever 21 is. It makes me so happy. Um, I think from what I'm remembering, I just got some sweaters and from what I'm looking at it, oh, one sweater wasn't I, what I expected. Ah, that's so sad. You know when you like see the coloring of something online and then it ends up being a completely different color when you actually get it? Yeah, that's what happened. So I just got this plain gray sweater here. It's just a, like a throw, throw over crew neck top. It's got a little crew neck here. Yeah, just a comfy little cozy sweater for layering. Love that. And the next sweater is along the same lines. It's a crew neck gray sweater, but it's got a tiger on the front. Rawr, look at it. Oh, I just thought it was so cute when I saw it. And I just love comfy cozy sweaters. I love comfy sweaters. Uh, yeah. If you're bored already of me saying comfy sweaters, the next two things are comfy sweaters. So you should just shut it off now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the sweater that uh, was not what I expected. It's like, I thought it was a cream sweater, but this is quite yellowy. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Do you see? Yeah, the color probably isn't showing up, but it was just another crew neck sweater. I wanted it to be a nice cream. And this is quite yellow. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so cozy feeling. I forgot about this. How soft! This is so soft. Anyway, I also got this little turtleneck. Just a plain gray turtleneck. Oh my god, I am such a plain grandma. Look at this, I'm just getting like comfy, cozy sweaters and a turtleneck. Who am I becoming? Anyway, little turtleneck, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was just a little, little mini haul I threw in because why not? So as I mentioned in the little intro to this video, I just wrote my final midterm. Thank goodness I've got like a few more days of relaxation and then it's all the final essays coming up and finals. Yay, my favorite part, I hate school. Mm. So I will be getting back to a regular filming schedule. I hope to come at you with an October favorites next, but like I said before, put your video recommends in the comments down below because my creativity is at an all-time low. I write too many papers I can't keep on top of my brain. I will see you in my next video. Bye!